the tarmac of London Airport is the latest version of an aircraft which has earned us millions in exports. The Discovery class or turboprop Vickers Viscount on the London Paris run is a Pathé News representative making arrangements for our coverage of the Queen's forthcoming visit to France. Exactly a hundred minutes after the passengers reported... The new Viscount 800 is the latest of a series which has proved a victory for British designers. Viscounts have flown about half a million miles throughout the world. And the Viscount 800 is bigger and more luxurious. You can hardly feel that you're flying. A far cry from 1931, when the old Imperial Airways Hannibal made her first flight from London to Paris. Less than a third of the power of the Viscount, she took exactly twice as long for the trip. One hour and eight minutes after taking off, the Viscount lands at Le Bourget. Customs formalities are over in a minute or two, and the coach is on the way to Paris. Here, as in London, the problem is the same. Modern traffic conditions, even under petrol rationing, are whittling away the time gained by modern airspeeds. Nearly three quarters of the London-Paris journey is spent on the ground, a drawback to which the airlines will have to find a solution. Still, thanks to the new Viscount, our representative is in the heart of the French capital less than four hours after reporting at Waterloo. Not bad going. It's not the fault of our aircraft designers that the total journey hasn't changed much in 26 years. Nor has the French way of life. Nor have the habits of the Englishman travelling abroad. <laughs>